In this video guys, we will discuss identifying regions of areas under the normal curve as we continue senior high school statistics and probability. Proceed na tayo guys. Exercise 1. Use the Z table to determine the areas between the following pairs of Z values. Number 1, Z is 0 and Z equals 1. Number 2, Z is equal to 0 and Z equals 1. Number 3, Z equals 1 and Z equals 2. Number 4, Z equals negative 1 and Z equals negative 2. Number 5, Z equals 2 and Z equals 3. And number 6, Z equals negative 2 and Z equals negative 3. In this video, we will determine all the pairs of Z values above. Isa-isahin na natin for number 1, what is the area between Z equals 0 and Z equals 1? From the Z table, it is 0 0.3413. Pag nilocate natin sa normal curve, ayan na ikita nyo naman sa ating illustration. Sa number 2 naman, the area between z equals 0 and z equals negative 1 is pareho lang siya ng z equals 1. Opposite lang sa siya ng location ng ating mean. Yung number 1 ay nasa kanan, yung number 2 ay nasa kaliwa. In number 3, determine the area between z equals 1 and z equals 2. Meron na tayong area ng z equals 1. Ang area ng z equals 2 from the z table is 0 0.4772 At para nga ma-determine natin ang area between z equals 1 and z equals 2 kailangan isubtract natin yung area ng z equals 2 sa area ng z equals 1 na kung saan ang difference nga ay 0 0.1359 Therefore, the area between z equals 1 and z equals 2 is 0 0.1359 Number 4, determine the areas between z equals negative 1 and z equals negative 2 The same lang yan guys nung number 3 0 0.1359 din Magkaiba lang siya ng location ng ating mean Yung number 3 ay nasa kanan, yung number 4 ay nasa kaliwa Number 5, determine the area between z equals 2 and z equals 3 Meron na tayo ng area nung z equals 2 na 0 0.4772. Ang kailangan na lang natin ang value ng z equals 3 according to z table equals 0 0.4987. Para makuha natin ang area between z values 2 and 3, kailangan isubtract natin yung area ng z equals 3 na 0 0.987 sa area ng z equals 2 na 0 0.4772. At kapag sinugtrak na nga natin, ang difference ay 0 0.0215. Therefore, the area between the Z values 2 and 3 is 0 0.215. At ang area na yan ay muli, the same lang yan sa ating number 6, the area between the Z values negative 2 and negative 3. Additional information guys. Matatandaan na ang area ng ating z-scores na 0 to 3 ay 0 0.4987. Ang kabuang area ng ating right half face of the normal curve is 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 thousand. Ibig sabihin, may maliit na area na natitira para sa tail ubuntot ng ating normal curve. At ang area nito ay para sa z-score na greater than 3. Para nga malaman natin ang area na ito, isubtract natin yung 0.5000 minus 0.4987. So ang area nga ng greater than 3 is 0.0013. At same din ang area na yan para naman sa ating left tail of the normal curve. Next problem tayo. Use the Z table to determine the total areas between the following pairs of Z values. Number 1, between Z equals negative 1 and Z equals positive 1. Number 2, between Z equals negative 2 and Z equals 2. And number 3, between Z equals negative 3 and Z plus 3. The value of the Z scores Z equals negative 1 and positive 1 
is the same, 0.3413. So to get the total areas between them, either you add them or you multiply them by 2. So 2 times 0.3413 equals 0. 68.26 and that is now the total area between z equals negative 1 and z equals positive 1. And just because that area is called probabilities, it can be also converted into percentage or percent. To convert that decimal area into percent, just multiply it by 100 or simply move the decimal point two places to the right. So, 0 0.6826 is the same with 68.26%. And that process is exactly the same for number 2 and number 3. Please go on and continue watching the video.